quote unquote, fast from whiteness at Chicago church sparks massive backlash online. A Christian church in Oak Park, Illinois, has gained much attention lately after announcing their quote-unquote fast from whiteness for the Easter Lenten season. The First United Church in Oak Park put up a banner announcing this fast outside their church. The banner also stated that the church would quote, build our worship life around the voices of Black people, Indigenous people, and people of color. Turning Point USA, a conservative organization, posted a video criticizing the church's decision. TPUSA's reporter said, quote, in this case, they have decided to separate the white culture from those around it. We want to be creating unity instead of creating a lot of disunity by separating people based on the color of their skin. The video was quickly picked up by conservative news outlets, including the New York Post and Fox News. The church's senior pastor, Reverend John Edgerton, said, quote, they began receiving about five voice me voicemail messages a minute after being featured on Fox News, and their website crashed. The church's senior pastor, uh, Reverend John Edgerton, who created the program himself, said it is crucially important for predominantly white churches to take up this work. Quote, in the United States, our voice, meaning white people, is the majority voice, and our message is the one that is always likely to go, which that is always going to get a hearing, he said. What does it mean exactly to fast from whiteness? Okay, so this is what I, <laughs> this is one of those instances where it's like, um, left-leaning people have like kind of a cool idea, but they have horrible branding that just tanks the whole thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like <laughs> defund the police, abolish the, abolish the police when it's like really like, we would like more money for social services, please. Like horrible marketing that turns everyone against the message. So <laughs> for Storm you say, this is so ridiculous. Okay. I can't even. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> It's actually like not even something that bad. It's like the idea that during their Easter programming, instead of having these images of biblical characters being like obviously white and Europeanized, they're like, oh, actually more ethnically accurate images of these biblical figures, or maybe, um, maybe not ethnically accurate, but you know, portrayed differently, portrayed Jesus portrayed as a black man, or they talk about how they have like poems or sermons written by Native American Christians, or um, they did a lot of work in their choir to do um, worship songs in Spanish. You know, just to these just are to great show... ideas. These are good ideas. Just horrible brand. You're right. Like these are genuinely good ideas, but they're just the, the branding is horrible. Wait, maybe yeah. the branding is horrible on purpose to bring attention to it. What do you think? The the branding for their banner is literally says fast from whiteness and then a paint a roller paint painting over the white part in black. Oh my god. That's literally the image they went with. You know, actually I don't I, I can't you know, okay, so if this wasn't racist, which it is, I can't be I couldn't be mad. Like, okay, so if this was just outrageous. And then you would be like, oh, my God, this is outrageous. And then you paid attention to it like you and then it got a whole bunch of clicks. And then you realize what they were doing. You're like, oh, actually, this is base. What they're doing is pretty cool. You know what I mean? I like it. You know, more diversity, blah, blah, blah. Right. That's fantastic. Right. And being more historically accurate about the characters and stuff like that. Right. So you would be. I wouldn't I don't mind an outrageous, you know, click baby, uh, baby title just to bring attention to something that is actually good okay however this is racist <laughs> right so i can't go what do you find racist about it it's anti-white right <laughs> well, so i i anti -white? I, just saying, I will i, I would mean, endorse i, I like... endorse i endorse being outrageous enough but not outrageous to the point where you actually become racist but what were you saying sorry i didn't talk to you well, what, what do you find racist about it? The name, the banner that's literally painting over the white color All and the it. white, the same whiteness is in kind of like this font where it's like whiteness. Like, what, what mean, do you not okay. like about it? Um, I don't like it, the thing about it that I wouldn't like if exactly if it was fast from blackness. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. you know that would be for the exactly sa for exact same reasons i wouldn't like it for the exact same reasons so i mean it's it's obviously racist like does, does anybody disagree with me that this is racist yeah oh, so blank name is saying no. it's not racist it's just cringe <laughs> how is it not racist you're talking about canceling you're like fast from whiteness like how, do i need to explain you're actually referring it's not a fast from white people it's a fast from white culture armin you're from the hegemony you're, of white christian worship we're going you're, you're to identifying a culture based on mm -hmm. people's ethnicity yeah okay so how is it not racist <laughs> uh, what, uh, <laughs> am i am i <laughs> I mean, so I want to read a little bit more about this program. Wait, more people, I don't understand. More people in the live chat are saying that's not racist. How is it not racist? It's literally referring to people's skin color. How is this not racist? Are you guys serious? Are you guys? You guys are just messing with me. Well, because in, in an life. academic sense, whiteness is not supposed to be put onto the individual. It's supposed to be seen as a structure, or you know, the a structure we all live, which is using people's skin color as labeling things. Yes, but that, yeah, that's racist. I don't care how academic you want to make this sound. <laughs> you, you're just using you know, you're deem, you're basically want to you're like oh, let's not do this culture that this ethnic ethnicity of people like you just like not to no to that. You're using people's races and skin colors and ethnicity as a way to identify the things that you want to say no to. Even if if you want to just refer to certain cultures. Just mention what the culture is. Don't don't mark it with people's race. Anyways, this is definitely racist. I don't know what you guys are talking. I think it. I think it's the 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 literal picture of painting over the white that really gets people come. <laughs> Wait, if you scroll down, well, let's watch the video that Turning Point USA put oh, really? out. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Wait, okay go I right isn't Turning Point? Wait, isn't Turning Point USA like a uh, Republican? um you know we don't endorse them just no i know we're just seeing what their contention is i just want to just make it clear that turning point usa is a pure cringe okay so just want to highlight this is like we don't you know these are republicans obviously we don't like republicanism see we're like the things that we are against like republicanism is not identifying anyone's race or ethnicity okay if we could just that's that's how you stand against things that are bad ideas okay mm -hmm. whiteness is not a bad idea okay republicanism is <laughs> i mean when i say it's not a bad idea i mean it's not an idea at all like not not that i was encouraging whiteness as a good thing just to be clear <laughs> it's not a good or a bad idea because it's not an idea anyways we're out in oak park illinois at first united church where for lent they have decided to fast from whiteness and they said this lent we build our worship life around the voices of black people indigenous people and people of color excuse me what as christians we are called to love one another and to create unity in the church oh, no. by bringing all cultures and communities together in this case they have decided to separate the white culture from those around it we want to be creating unity instead of creating a lot of disunity by separating people based on the color of their skin we don't want to go back to segregation times we need to be bringing people together and loving them by creating more unity and not doing things such as fasting from whiteness okay so i don't what's okay, interesting don't, you go ahead. What's interesting about this is saying, oh, we're trying to create unity, not disunity. Like, that's actually one thing that them in this church would agree on. Like, let me, that's exactly let me, what the church is trying to do by expanding its programming. Okay, and let the me tell you what this is to, to combat, you know, to show the quote, the truth of the Christian faith and God's love for all people. So that's the, mm -hmm. that, that's what the church says, that this is what this is about. It's just their branding of it is so perfect for conservatives who are, you know, against critical race theory to jump down their throat. It's like a handed over to them on a platter. <laughs> okay, let me tell you like the, how this sounds like to me, okay? Let's say, for example, there's a whole bunch of anti, um, anti uh, Japanese racism in Korea, right? Which I think there is, right? Yes. And there are some Koreans, and then by Korean, I mean, by Korea, I mean South Korea. There are some Koreans who want to fight that, okay? And they're having this event that they want to show you Japanese culture 
and celebrate Japanese culture and have Japanese songs and events. And they're bringing Korea and like this is event to like fight anti Japanese racism in Korea. Okay. I wouldn't like it if they called the event, let's cancel Koreanism. All right. Let's, uh, let's <laughs> cancel Korea. Right. Like that's not like, no. Okay. So I'm not, I'm being consistent. I'm not like, you know, or like if, if in India, some Hindus wanting to reach out to Muslims, okay? I wouldn't think it's the good, you know, and be like endorse and, you know, to stop anti Muslim bigotry. I don't think the idea, it would be a good idea to have like, let's end Hindus, let's, let's cancel Hindus. Like, I don't think that would be a good idea to name the event. If you want to fight anti Muslim bigotry, just call it fighting anti Muslim bigotry, you know? Mm -hmm. you know Canceling, mm -hmm. like, I don't, yeah. So that's, that's what I. You, 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 like, I think we, like, we both really like the idea, the branding that the branding. promotion of this is coming at the expense <clears throat> of something else is counter to their own goals. Yes. That's what I think. Well, yeah, I mean, I, again, as somebody who likes to have outrageous titles to bring attention to something, okay, I just think, like, this is not the, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, like, saying the method is wrong. I do get it, right? Like, I mean, it worked. I mean, these people are not idiots. Like, they got coverage on Fox News, so their message mm -hmm. works. But apparently, still can't th this programming that they've had has really like um, been very well received, and like they've gotten a lot more attendance than previously. So yeah. it's like it's working out for them. Uh, yeah, I find it sure. hilarious to think about this. It, apparently, it's a majority white area, like majority white congregation, like badly singing all these songs in Spanish. <laughs> Wait, did they wait? Did they not have Spanish people to speak this Spanish? Spanish speaking people? I mean, I don't know exactly make... how diverse their um, wait. So, to celebrate is, diversity, the, the, air, to the celebrate whole area is majority white. Okay, so to celebrate diversity, they just had like people who don't speak Spanish just like as their mother tongue to speak sing Spanish songs. They couldn't bring, I, I believe, that uh, was part of this. Yes, uh, I mean, because the whole con uh, congregation is supposed to sing along. Well, you're not apparently they're not canceling whiteness strong enough. Go, go, like, go find somebody who actually speaks the language. What the hell? <laughs> um, all right. And so this um, is really funny. Yeah. So let's 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 see the reactions from the live chat because we have a we have a lot of reactions. So, um, goes funny is saying Armin's pissed off on behalf of the white people. Well, we are just like, eh, it's cringe, but oh well. It's not on behalf of you, okay? Like it's not on behalf of white people, okay? I don't care. Uh, I'm not, you know, it's not it's not for the sake of white people, okay? I'm not defending white people. I'm just anti-racism, okay? I'm just against racism, even if it's not a big deal, okay? I know anti-white racism is not as big of a deal compared to a lot of other racism, okay? I'm just, just I just, racism is cringe. Um, and yeah, I don't like it. So blank name has a contention and he disagrees that this is, you know, big R racism. Like you were saying, blank name is saying it is not related to white skin color itself. You can be black and exhibit whiteness, the structure of American society. Oh, really? No, really, really black. Name. It has no, <laughs> it has no relation to the white skin. The fact that they're calling it the whiteness is just like, just randomly happens to be just the, name of the skin color that they're associating the majority of the people who they're trying to associate the culture with like just the the word whiteness has nothing to do with white people it's just completely irrelevant are is that what you're saying the completely different concept it just randomly they might have just they might as well just call it greenness huh it just it's just a coincidence it's just a coincidence that the word whiteness happens to be the same thing that they refer to the to the people that are majority white, right? Like it just like yeah, they, they were just like randomly <laughs> shooting darts at colors on a board, right? And it could have been green or blue or purple, but just by chance, it just happened to be white. Is that what you're saying? Okay, yeah, it has yeah. nothing to do with it. Sure, um, sure, 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 sure. Ghost Bunny is saying the main message is to uplift voices that may have been ignored or not taken as seriously. People listen to white people all the time, and they want the opportunity to uplift. The other voices in their community yep that that's the intention of this and i think yeah and i liked it i liked it yeah. i like what they're doing i just don't like fasting from whiteness i just like 
I, I, guys, I know, like, I know people are getting butt hurt, okay? Like, from me being upset about this, okay? I understand that this hurts your racism, okay? I know that most <laughs> of you. Shut up, shut up. I hope I understand that so all of you in the live chat have internalized your racism so much that you don't oh understand God. that you're racist, okay? But for actually some of us who are more enlightened here and we could recognize racism when we see it. We get upset about these things, okay? But you guys, it's okay, okay? You, you are not the same level. You're just racist, okay? But yeah. <laughs> oh, you're, you're going to flip it and throw it back at them now, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, uh, yeah, for me, this was fascinating to see kind of the intersection of, you know, like woke rhetoric coming into the sphere of Christianity and then the conservatives freaking out about it. I thought it was hilarious. And I saw a comment on this news story that said, if they really want to fast from whiteness, they'll have to sell off the pipe organs because pipe organs were was were invented by whiteness. They can just clap and stomp instead and definitely turn off the electricity because electricity was discovered by whiteness. And it, oh is that an insulated building? If you're gonna really cancel whiteness, shouldn't you swap it out? Hope no one's wearing shoes and the women folks will have to throw out their birth control and bring back polio and smallpox. Oh my god. Oh my god. So what about having it gets a little racist, so I don't want to get into it, yeah. but people reacted strongly. <laughs> like, oh, no. oh my god. <laughs> I mean, if you want to okay, I actually if you want to say white culture has nothing to do with white people, okay, this is not about people's ethnicity, this is about a culture, okay. Then nobody should get mad by saying, Well, this is all then white culture, and people are like, Oh no, that's racist. You can't say that's white, that's whiteness. Like, why is it racist? We're we're not referring to a people. We're not referring to people. We're referring to whiteness as a culture. So if we say science is whiteness, and if we say like scheduling things is um, being on time is whiteness, nobody should say now that we're being racist. Okay. So because this is just we're not referring to people. So yeah, I guess like here, here you go. Are you gonna get mad now? Are you gonna get mad? Like these people who had a schedule for when this event is, they shouldn't have a schedule. All right, because that's apparently being on time is also like this, apparently. Okay, so yeah, they do say that. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do say that. So what? What are we gonna do now? Are we? Are, does that sound racist to you right now? If we say that, because if it if it, if it sounds racist to you now, then you're a hypocrite. If it didn't sound racist to you earlier when they were saying fast from whiteness and we're like that's not racist but now if we say science is whiteness science is whiteness culture and now it sounds racist whiteness. to you yeah if if now it sounds racist to you maybe maybe you you're a hypocrite maybe this is like um cognitive cognitive dissonance a little bit happening huh huh yeah all right <laughs> blank name is he can't stand you he's like nuanced Armin yeah. is so effing literal. <laughs> okay, if if you if if you think I'm being too literal, do you think if somebody says science is whiteness, uh, science is wh uh, white culture, okay? The scientific um, method, yeah. The scientific method is like whiteness. Or like, do you think like does that sound racist to you or no? Okay, because if you want to be consistent, then that shouldn't sound racist to you at all. Yeah, because that okay. that that is par for the course in this kind of rhetoric. To say that the scientific method is a construction of white male masculinity like yes yeeks anyways you know, i just so thought this was hilarious and i knew we would have fun talking about it <laughs> so actually it's the same thing with toxic masculinity okay i understand that toxic masculinity refers to something that is real and that it's also something that is a problem i understand that but the label toxic masculinity is not a good name for it I understand what you're referring to, and I understand that it's something that needs to be addressed and something that it is harmful. I understand that, okay? But maybe come up with a different name because it just sounds like it just it's just not a good branding, okay? You're like, oh, well, this is academia. Like, well, maybe academics need to figure out how to label things better because it makes it sound like you're True. just against manhood, right? It just we were talking about like this recently because of that interview that happened recently on Jon Stewart that just felt like I was dragged back to 2015 with the rhetoric that was going around. Like, and it was interesting for you to bring up the, the, the scheduling and staying on time as a construct of whiteness thing just now, because a few days ago you were talking about how you actually understand the argument of talking about this idea of like efficiency and, um, 
like there are different constructs or understandings of time in, in different cultures across different times and different countries. Like this is observable. And, um, you know, it, it, it is a certain way in like Western European countries. And so you're like, I do understand this. I under, I know what they're talking about, but when they put in Smithsonian on a billboard and just call it a construct of whiteness, like this is bad branding and it offends a lot of people saying like, it seems like you're perpetuating a stereotype that non-white people can't be on time, which is used against people in a racist way usually. Right, exactly, exactly. Okay, branding is important. Okay, if you don't pay, yeah, anyways. These ivory but, tower elites. Again, it, it goes. It's like it goes back again. So like people's like, defund the police, and they're like, what do you actually mean? Oh, we mean like move money from like militarizing police to actually like more social. We services. would like more like, social spending. Like okay, well your branding is fucking freaking horrible. <laughs> like this is and then a good people idea. Like no, we freaking mean defund the police, and they're like, when we oh, yeah, say abolish again, the police, we don't really mean it. And then I'm like. <laughs> There's a lot so of people again, that will so put the bad branding is important. It, they mean it. Okay, so exactly the bad branding makes it possible for people for racists to actually pick it up as a weapon. Okay, so you'd yeah, be like, well, exactly. it's exactly. referring to you can't be like, I'm gonna ignore the bad branding because it's actually referring to something correctly. Well, the bad branding will be misused by people who actually mean harm. So there you go. Um, all right, it's, can it's we it's counter to your own goals? Exactly. Lefties, okay. we need to get better at marketing. Please, can we collectively get better at marketing? Because I care a lot about these progressive causes, but we keep shooting ourselves in the foot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, okay, wait. Can we... Um, oh, yeah, PK is saying branding is everything. Well, not everything, but it's important. Hey, guys. If you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.